Okay, so I'm interested in the title here. I've seen this video before, and I did a reaction, but I didn't post it. But I, I want to hear what Uncle Phil has to say about the subject. It's 17 minutes in, so. A woman that has nine kids, yes, nine kids, and she was married, and um, her husband ended up leaving her with those nine kids. But I want you to hear what she has to say, why he left her with those nine kids. Let's review it. I can't hold this shit in no more. I've been trying to hold it in and hold it in and hold it in. You know what I'm saying? Didn't want to tell nobody about it, but this is... So how about I come home from work last night? Now, my kids was left here with my baby daddy. Now, I close on Wednesdays and he keep my kids. This ain't nothing new. This is something he already know. So thank God that my oldest daughter was here. So when I got here last night, this was nowhere to be found, y'all. This shit is crazy. So how about when I get home, this motherfucker don't pack up and got the up out of here. He don't move all his shit up at my house. So I'm calling his phone. I'm blowing him up. Remind you, this is the this is my closet where all his stuff is at. Where it's going to be ancient in the closet. He don't pack the fuck up and got up out of here. He's a fucking lame for that. Like I'm calling his phone and asking him like, what's going on? What's the problem? I mean, what you upset for? You know what I'm saying? Why you leave? Why you being a cow? Why you couldn't face me? Why you had to sneak and do it? Why you had to wait? Because if a man had doing it while you're at work, that means you're crazy. And he knows that if he try to leave, you're going to start a confrontation. And then if he try to move you out of the way, you're going to call the police and say, oh, he put hands on me, he's going to go to jail. So since he knows that, he decided to leave while he was at work so there could be no confrontation. Try to go to work and then try to go do it. Girl, stop, 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 stop. You know what I'm saying? So, this is crazy. All the boys down to y'all. Y'all know I just went on this trip. I just left and went on this trip, and he wasn't feeling the trip. Talking about I'm going with a whole bunch of people that I don't, that he don't know, and all this, this, and that, and um, how did that look? I'm in a whole lot of relationship, and I'm going out of town with people that I don't. Uh, to that effect, I, I have to agree with the guy, because. Uh, some of these men, some of the men from a lot of travel places, when they come over to America, men who have worked at Vegas, uh, male strippers, and plenty of men have made it clear that a lot of these women do in fact cheat. In fact, there are male strippers who have gone on to quote and say, I will never get married simply because of the relationships I've seen and how many, where the women have came and sought out sex. Now, we're getting past the point where it's about winning. Because we have to get out of scarcity mindset in order to address what's actually wrong and what's going on. And specifically, in the community we're trying to establish. Specifically, we get to that. If you try to be like, oh, well, that's just them, that's just them, I'm different. That I'm different thing doesn't work when all of them are doing such and such, this, that, and the other. So, again, back to the girls' trip. It's been revealed that on a lot of these girls' trips, they're having sex with a lot of different men. In fact, there's a movie about girls' trips promoting women going out and having sex by different men. And I don't care whether you're insecure or not because the consequences don't care whether you're insecure or confident. You can be confident and a woman divorces you. And you see, a lot of men don't like to reflect on those stories, nor do, do, does anyone really want to talk about those stories where... Men were confident in their relationship. They didn't think nothing bad was going to happen. Boom. She cheats or up she leaves. Oh, okay. Now, the roles are kind of reversed here. And if he had to do that, according to what Uncle Phil said, he did the right thing. I don't know and all this shit. You mean to tell me we've been together for 10 years. We've been together for 10 and a half years going on 11 years. So? six kids with this... Like, really, what? Because I go on a trip, you going to pack your shit and you going to dip up out of here? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, he told you that the, the people weren't right. It's his job to look out for you, right? But you decided that you want to do this girl's trip then. That's what you wanted to do. You in a whole relationship. And you, and you want to go a girl's trip. 
to somewhere else with people that he don't even know. It's not like he went with family or something like that. He went with some bunch of people that he thought was shady. And yes, that can cause a lot of problems. Is these uh, when these women are sort of sits on these girl trips? Like, like you're not. First of all, you're not a girl. You're a woman. Second of all, like, like why y'all got? You know, you don't see a bunch of men talking. Oh yeah, guys trip. A bunch of married men talking about guys trips. And the ones and a few that are doing that, like, where are they actually going? That's the thing. But not too many men do that mess. You know, like the women like to do that. Like, I say this: if you're single. Got nothing going on, yeah, do you, you know? But if, if you're going to do all that, like I said, go with family and friends, you know, people that you know, people that he know, right? And maybe he'd be cool with it, but let's continue. Really? And leave me yeah. at this moon and really? me and just leave me with this high fridge that I got to pay by myself? Like, that's crazy. That's some. This is crazy. This is blowing my mind, y'all. This is blowing my mind. Man, direct, put that shit up, put that up, put that up. Go in there today, I got you to go in there today, for real. This shit is crazy. I don't know what the fuck going on. This shit is crazy as hell. But it's bothering me because I'm trying to figure out, like, why? Like, why? Why? What? I mean, what? what's the problem? You get it? We all know I'm in charge here, and I don't wait for all the apps. Now get your favorite classic hope for only $6. I gotta have a Wawa. Why? You insecure? Not insecurity. This this is why I'm finally glad this is stopping. Because I, I don't know what it is. Women will do horrifying things and then they'll turn around and say, Well, you're insecure. I, I don't get that. I don't get that for real. I don't get that in the slightest, but you can't do messed up things and then try to say it's a security thing. Now, again biblically this is only happening because uh, the way society is set up and the way things are supposed to work and aren't supposed to work. A lot of these women have no problems doing evils to men and not caring about it. And, and that's why America's referred to as Babylon the Great. Because a lot of women here, they love hurting men. They love doing things of that nature. And they only focus on the men who hurt them and not the men who don't want to. So they don't want a solution, they want control. And again, they want to be God. And that's that's the way this was going to end up. They want to be God. So? What what possibly could I be doing when I go out of town? The whole time I've been with you, he ain't never known me to cheat on me. I ain't never checked, cheated on him. Never, I don't believe never, it. Never, you know, flirted or any, none of that shit. You didn't listen to him. That he knows of. Yeah. Because you know, like I said... <laughs> Women are way better at cheating than men because they lie better than men. Also, because it's faster than us, else get caught. So, what is it about you that he felt that way that strongly about it to the point that he wanted to leave? You're not telling that part of the story. With nobody, I ain't never been. I've never been that type of chick. If I'm with you, I'm with you. If I'm with you, I'm right with you. Hands down, I ain't been number great to this nigga, y'all. I ain't been number good to this. And for me to come home have to see this shit. Now I'm second guessing myself like this was for real. Because first, when we was having our conversation, I thought that it was that. I thought he was playing. You know what I'm saying? He was telling me pretty much like if you do this, I mean, you just telling me you going out of town. You didn't ask me what? Like, why the fuck I asked you could I go out of town? I'm a grown woman. I'm 35 years old. Why the fuck I got to ask you? Uh, you know, you don't ever since, you know what I'm saying, which is true, y'all. I ain't never been on no trip or no vacation without this. Every okay, listen to what you just said. Any other time you went somewhere, y'all went together as a couple. Now, all of a sudden, you're coming up with this girl's trip thing with people that he don't even know and don't even like. Look at, look at what you, look at how you moving. That's why he like, well, where did that come from all of a sudden? It's not like something you always done. You understand? And he felt so strongly about it. Look, if you go do that trip, go do that trip if you want to. If, if it's that important to you, but 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 you come back here, I, I'm going to have to move around. He told you what he was going to do. Why are you shocked? Every time we go on the trip with the kids and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? It's always me and him. Or sometimes we leave the kids behind and then we go on the trip. It just be us two. And that's how it's supposed to be. But why? You tripping over that because I went on a vacation? Because I went on a 
vacation, you tripping about that. Like he got me twisted. And then the Jeep that he's driving, and my name, now I can be nasty, call the police and tell the police that he done stole my Jeep. See, that's what he got me fucked up at. See, see, see. <laughs> You, you, you see, you see what she went to, fellas. Now he talked to her before she did this. She's in a whole full fledged relationship. Yep. Six kids with this guy. Four kids with some whatever people she had kids for. Because she's mad. Here we go. The weaponization of the police on the black man because he chose to leave. This is why, fellas, get things in your name. The only thing I'm saying, get things in your name. So, so I can get nasty. Like this shit is hell, y'all. I don't know what the fuck I'm about to do. Like what the fuck I'm about to do. I'm over here the move in this three bedroom place. Three uh three bedroom, two and a half baths. Gotta pay all this rent by myself. And ain't on top of that. Wait a minute. Three bedroom, two bath, nine children? It's okay, they got their room. Okay. So nine children are splitting two rooms? Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus. Yeah, that's a lot. Why, why, why? How you can afford a trip with nine doggone kids? How? See, that's, that's not the issue about black folks. I gotta go there. That's my issue about black people. You will, you will find money to do, certain, to do whatever you wanna do, even when you can't afford it. You can't afford that with nine kids. You shouldn't be going nowhere. <laughs> like, for real? Take care of nine kids by myself, y'all. This shit's crazy. And six of these kids are his kids. Like, this crazy. Crazy. I don't know what the fuck going on with these. It's like, why the, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I go on the trip. Like, what's the problem? Like, I'm still lost. Like, what? What is it? What's the problem? Because you start moving different. That's the problem. He told you before you went, and you didn't take him serious. That's all it is to it. Why is that trip was so important to you that you had to ignore everything this man was saying? Like, like you, you don't get it? Went down there doing nothing. My mom always told me when a man started accusing you of going out, going somewhere, and doing something with somebody, that they doing something. Like, this just didn't come about because of this trip. This is some shit that you already had planned. So I called his mom because I, I guarantee you that's who else going to. So remind you, his mama and I, we, you know, I thought, you know what I'm saying, I consist of a being kind of cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't bump heads in the past, but I thought we came, you know, we got over there. So I called his mama, and she talking about, oh, well, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Um, Jamel, he told you if you go out of town, you know what I'm saying, that didn't sit well with him. He was going to have a problem with it, and you just took it upon yourself and went on and went out of town. You know what I'm saying, you in a whole lot of relationship. Hold on, stop. Hold up, lady. What the? Like, you, like, you taking up him. You, as his mama, should be like, you know what I'm saying? Children, man, let the girl go out. I don't go nowhere, y'all. If I, if, only time I go somewhere, my, when I do decide to go somewhere, my kids are with me. I don't go nowhere. Uh, yeah, you got nine of them. How, how you gonna find a babysitter for that many kids? Hey, you wanna take care of my kids? Like, yeah, how many you got? You know, like, I got nine. Most people gonna turn that down. Like, like, it don't matter how much money you offer, most people will turn it down. I don't go nowhere unless my kids are with me. Because I have so many kids, you know, it's hard for me to find a babysitter with that amount of kids. So I don't go nowhere already. Why do you have any dog on kids? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why? Government assistance. So when I'm trying to step out and enjoy life and get some me time away from everybody, you know what I'm saying, just relax and get my head together, you know what I'm saying, I ain't got to worry about getting up, cooking, cleaning, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, some me time. It's a fucking problem. It's a problem. This shit crazy. This is some crazy shit. Cut the lights off. I already ain't got nobody help with these bills. Cut all these lights off. And cut all these that lights off. That didn't matter when you could do it. Again, they don't consider the consequences. Crazy gotta figure out how to come up with my rent next month. Like, crazy as hell. You had me, you, you done did this because you knew it was close to the rent time. Like, this don't make no sense. Worried about because I don't with the fuck out of time. 
with some with some females. Like, what the f I should have been down there. Yeah, I should have. That's what the f I should have did. Found me up from down there in Houston. They picked up on them. Since I had to come home with this motherfucker. That's what the f I should have yeah, yeah, that's gonna make him come back. What you just said, you know what a man hears when he when he hear you women saying, "I should have did that." Oh, that's something you you would want to do anyway. That's that's all a man gonna hear. And he say, "See, I, I love I love because she was about to do something, or she even did it. She just lying about something." So y'all ladies sometimes talk, 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 and realize when when men hear certain things, how we react to that. So that did not make it anything like better. Like, oh, well, I, I should have did it or I couldn't did it. Once again, you got nine kids. You don't even go nowhere. Nowhere. None. You got way too many dollars. You knew before you went on that trip that rent was coming up. All that money you spent going out with who you was going out with over there. You said you went to Houston, right? You knew that rent was coming up. You don't got no money to be going nowhere. Should've thought about that if we laid down and had nine kids. Should've did. I should've did. This shit crazy. Ain't no way in hell I would've signed up for all this high rent and I knew I was gonna do this shit by myself. Ain't no way in the fuck I would've did this. I run a nine to five, I'm living from paycheck to paycheck. I can't afford this rent. I ain't ashamed to tell y'all. I can't afford this rent by myself. This nigga took all his shit back closet. All his shit gone. He didn't even spend his Ain't nothing up in the closet, no better, nothing but my shit. And then let this empty shoe boxes in here. So why the fuck he ain't take your empty shoe boxes? Up at my damn house. I guess to convince you he was still there. That's how I go. That's how I go. Because I'm going to put his on child support. He don't block me. I, I, I got called him and said what, and when he answered the phone, he picked the phone up, he laughed like this motherfucker. Funny as shit. This shit ain't no fun. This shit ain't fun. You just don't let me out here to die for dead. You don't let me out here for fucking dead. I did so much for this, y'all. I did so much. I done did, I done did so much. It's unreal. I ain't never did this much for nobody. Book this. And I come back home and you don't took your up at my house? Like, really? You don't took all your clothes, everything, up at my house? You didn't leave me with shit. And he bought the TV for the living room. And this and I took the TV too, y'all. He didn't give a fuck about his kids being here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, bro, you took the TV, brother. <laughs> I, I mean, you man, you say, man, I'm taking that TV to the Lord, Jesus. I'm going to be on the TV. Oh, why'd you have to be that petty, bro? Bro, this shit is crazy. This is some This is Well, what, what have you learned, man? Next time, maybe you will listen when, when he's telling you something. Maybe you shouldn't be going on those trips, period, because you got too many dog kids and too many bills. I mean, you are feeding literally a small army. Nine people, nine children. You paying rent for three bedroom, two bathroom? And you say you can't pay it on your own. You need him to help pay the bills too, right? If he didn't want you to go, you should have you should have went. And I want to tell you, men don't just get up and leave. That's not what a lot of men do. Men just kind of stick some things out, even if they are the happiest in the situation. They still stick some things out. A lot more of these women will. So for a man to leave, it's not just that one incident. It's some things that have been going on. I can believe that because now him getting mad at you. But the thing is, also based off what you're saying, he felt disrespected because he said, "Man, you gonna come here and tell me where you going? You know, just say what I think about it or ask me about anything." Yeah, go watch the whole video. I watched this before. I wanted to get his words on it. Uh, oh, wait, just five months. But did I do this one? I'm not sure if I did this one. But ultimately, look, long story short, she shouldn't, she shouldn't have did that. And it's just like a lot of men are getting to a point where they get a backbone and they don't care about the consequences. Uh, anymore.
And you see, if he got himself together and went outside the country, doesn't matter if she puts him on child support. Because, like, in order, in order for you to not get a passport, you have to be on child support, and even then. So if things were fine with him, and, you know, she was doing certain things not listening, and then, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see how this is bad for him either.